This video is intended to show you how you can take a PDF or a digital worksheet and convert it into a type of file that your students can type into, thereby creating their own version of the worksheet and turning it into their teachers using the web-based version of Canvas. Here is a PDF that I have. My kids cannot click on it, they cannot fill it out, and I want to put it into a format that they can actually go in and fill in the blanks and fill out the table that I have. So first what I'm going to do is fit it to the page. Next, I'm going to take a screenshot of it and convert that into an image. You might have a different way that you can take a screenshot of it. I'm just going to use my snipping tool and snip an image of it and save this image. And I'm saving it in my pictures folder so it's easy for me to find later. So first I'm going to go into a PowerPoint. So we're going to go into design and we're going to choose slide size and we're going to set a custom slide size. We're going to use orientation as portrait and we're going to set our dimensions like a typical worksheet dimension would be. And we want our image to fit in here. I'm going to remove these text boxes here. I don't need those. And now, now I need to put in my image and I'm going to set it as the background image. So we're going to go background and choose a picture from file. Choose file and I'm going to find that file that I just saved a minute ago. Research practice, there we go. And we're going to insert that in there. So now here is my worksheet but I've got to make it so that the students can actually type into it. So I'm going to insert text boxes. So I use my insert menu option, choose text box, and it automatically puts a random text box just somewhere on the page. So you can drag it to wherever you want it to go. You'll want to bring it to the front to make sure that it is sitting directly on top of your image. Then you can copy it by doing a control C and a control V. It will randomly place it somewhere on the page. You'll move it to where you want it to go and resize it accordingly. You can also change the font size by highlighting it and using the toolbar to change the font size as needed. Once you've adjusted your fonts, then you're simply going to put as many text boxes throughout the worksheet as needed in all of the places where you would want the students to fill in the box. You do not have to leave the words click to add text. If you want to delete those, you can. Once you're finished, you're going to need to save it or give it the name that you want it to be called, saving it to your OneDrive so that you can assign it in Canvas later. So here we are in Canvas. We're typing out the instructions for our assignment. Then we're going to go in and find our image and insert image so the students can see what the worksheet will look like. Now we're ready to adjust the assignment details. What's really important about this is the submission type. You need to pick external tool submission option. Then you will click the find button and go down and look for Office 365 Cloud Assignment. Now it's going to open up your OneDrive and you need to go find that PowerPoint file that we created earlier. Okay, once the file loads, we click select. We're going to further adjust our assignment details. And when we're ready, then we will click save. Okay, this is how it looks from a student view. I'm logged in as one of the students in my class. This is how the assignment looks. They have their instructions. They have the image of the worksheet. And below that, if they'll scroll down, they will see that actual PowerPoint image that we had created in PowerPoint. They cannot actually click on it and edit it at this time. Now, it looks really small. If they wanted to try to edit this small, version, they could click edit in browser. But I recommend that instead the students open it and it will open it in another window. Now they see the image of the assignment, but they still cannot click on it and edit it. They need to come up here and click edit presentation. I recommend 
that they edit in browser, especially if the students are using a Chromebook because Chromebook does not have the desktop version of PowerPoint, so they need to edit in browser to be able to edit the worksheet and turn it into you successfully. Once they click Edit in Browser, the document will open again, and this time it will be an editable version of the document. Now the document is opened in the online version of PowerPoint. The students can go in and they can edit as needed and choose to answer their questions. When they're finished completing their worksheet, they will go back to their Canvas tab at the top and they will click Submit. And when they turn that in to the teacher, the teacher will see the completed version of it. If you have any questions, let me know.